Welcome to MH2801, the video segment on differential equations in physics. In physics, we frequently find ourselves dealing with point particles and sometimes also having to deal with fields. To describe point particles, we need to use the language of ordinary differential equations. On the other hand, to describe fields, we will need to use the mathematical language of partial differential equations. An example of an ordinary differential equation that we would encounter when dealing with point particles would be Newton's second law. This is written in the form of mass times the acceleration, which we can write as d2x over dt square, where x is the displacement and t is the time and this mass time acceleration must be equals to the force acting on the particle which is given in terms of the position as well as the time for fields last semester you must have learned about electric fields and magnetic fields in ph 1102 and there you must have learned the first of the Maxwell's equations, which is Gauss's law. This gives the electric field in terms of the charge distribution. Of course, you will not learn it in the differential form, but next semester when you take PH2102, you will start to appreciate uh, the writing of Gauss's law in the differential form in terms of the divergence of an electric field being equals to the charge density divided by the permittivity. Another example of a partial differential equation that you would encounter this particular semester is Schrodinger's equation. You will learn that in PH2101 quantum mechanics 1 and the time-dependent form of the equation can be written in terms of a wave function, a total wave function, capital Psi, which is depends both on the position of the quantum mechanical particle as well as the time. And this you would write as IH bar del Psi over del T being equal to minus h bar square divided by 2m times the Laplacian of the wave function psi plus the potential energy that the particle experiences which can be of course dependent on the position of the particle but also on time multiply by the wave function capital psi x comma t in physics you will also encounter other partial differential equations such as laplace's equation such as the diffusion equation and next year when you take fluid mechanics you will also learn about a nonlinear partial differential equation called the never stokes equation